welcome to another YouTube video. So today we're going to talk about the differentiation between MySQL and Firebase, typically for the apps. So let's get jump on it. So if you're talking about MySQL and Firebase, uh, Firebase also uh, it's easy to use. Um, it's easy to implement to the apps of Android, iOS, and type of applications. So if you go to the MySQL, it's kind of a bit difficult, but there are more features than Firebase. So if you are firstly talking about Firebase, Firebase has limited features with free version. So if you are go talking about that, uh, they have 5 GB of storage, uh, 1 GB of real time database and 10 GB of bandwidth. So because of this bandwidth, most of the successful app uh, which was created by Sketchua or Android Studio, they uh, go down because of these things, because of bandwidth. Uh, bandwidth is the most important thing among apps because we don't know how the user will use the app we don't know how the user will connect to the database we don't know how the user will download the data so maybe user will be download uh, uh, 10 G uh, sorry 10 MB file at least 10 times so it's around 100 MB so within one second you got 100 MB of bandwidth so you have limited of 10 GB so if there are like thousand of users your bandwidth will be gone so what is the best solution the best solution is mysql so uh, sometimes you would think like uh, okay um, that's good but we can move for paid one but the paid one also very high of cost so it's like very high very high so if you go on to uh, if you go for the upgrades uh, we can see uh, how it works so the upgrades of free fire is pay as you go so if you see the plan uh, if you see the plan it's like this so uh, the most important in apps is the storage and the bandwidth and the database storage so if you move to uh, bandwidth which is downloads which is this okay so it's not that okay is this one bandwidth of this one is uh, down okay let's check from here it's better so um, as you see you can see uh, the free version is for only 10 GB the bandwidth and if you increase uh, maybe you get 50 GB per month which is the bandwidth and it's $40 right so if you want more GB in database like 3 GB of database is $10 no so, so it's uh, assume that it's fifty dollars. So if our storage is high, so the current the free version one is five GB, and if you go for ten, if I, I want sixty of them, so it's like fifty one dollar, fifty two fifty two dollars. So it's like that. So we don't need other things because we don't use for the apps. But if you use like cloud messaging, you need this kind of thing also. So example for note. So 100 with 1000 verification, 10,000 verification, for that you need this kind of thing. So you can see, assume that you want to do 20,000 or something, it's like $100 to uh, $120. So it's like that. And you have also web hosting for free and it's 10 GB and you can increase by it by increasing this. So the maximum 100 GB is $2 and if you data transfer is also, uh, you can increase that and you can see the high amount of value. So you can see the total is around uh, three hundred dollars or something. Maybe assume that it's two hundred for the paid one. So, but for less amount, you can get more features. You know that. So I will be talking today about that, which is MySQL. So uh, actually, is it is hosting. So I have a paid one. Uh, for this, uh, it's from GoDaddy. Uh, it took me around ninety eight dollars for one year with the domain. Uh, which has unlimited features which is unlimited domains, names unlimited database unlimited storage unlimited bandwidth uh, as you can see here uh, my app uses 4 gb for this month okay so it's good but it's unlimited right so i don't care about that so the storage also unlimited as you can as you can see here uh, the disk size and as you can see the subdomains are also unlimited the database also unlimited the mysql disk usage also unlimited Okay, so it's good, right? So you can create 25 
uh, databases so that's extremely good right so that's super easy so easy uh, comparing uh, of firebase firebase has limited story but and there's important point that you that we want to talk about today so which is security actually with firebase there is no security and which my skill has more security because you are using php so if you're talking about security in firebase um, you have rules uh, which is good but there are some issues in rules also so maybe uh, there are some hackers that I have contact so they are saying don't use don't ever use firebase because even though you put uh, rules as right true example now I have set as everything true but if you put everything uh, if you put this one as false even though it's false the users can hack it when it's false so let's see it's false so no one can ex except me uh, no one can edit my uh, data in the database but the hackers can the problem is there are some security issues in firebase also but if you're comparing with mysql and php they can't do nothing so as an example uh, i have recently uploaded an app called sketchit uh, which is a sketchup project uh, store uh, which I migrated Firebase to uh, MySQL and the example is uh, when I was using Firebase I had a lot of problems like bandwidth problems like storage problems those kind of things and I I got hacked in the database that they were like uh, deleting my data something like that so I just migrated to MySQL and it's working perfectly so that's why I'm recon recommending to use MySQL and sometimes you would think that uh, how to use uh, mysql in sketch or um, i mean ender studio so it's like this you have to use request component which is like you are making an api uh, to get data from the database to download data from the database or uh, you want to download some files so every tutorial will be making by myself so make sure you have you have to subscribe to my channel so I will be posting those kind of things like how to migrate to your Firebase to MySQL. So how to uh, migrate your database to uh, like uh, Firebase database to MySQL. So things like that. So how to implement MySQL. So how it works with Sketchware. Those kind of topics. So I will be talking about in the future videos. So make sure you have subscribed to my channel so you can get notified at your phone. So these are the things that you want to talk today and thanks for watching and please subscribe thank you